Hello everybody, it's been a while since I've done a tutorial, but I'm going to show you some new glitch techniques that I have been doing lately, and I think you all might like them. So here's more or less what the sound is going to sound like. Not bad. Um, so I will be recreating this sort of technique from scratch again. So let's just um, delete all that. And we have, let's clear all the effects here. Okay, so we're gonna keep going from scratch here. So we just have this, uh, this drum loop. A uh, quick aside, um, the Glitch With Friends samples volume two pack that I recently helped curate and contributed a lot of samples to is now available and this uh, this drum loop comes from that pack so I'll put a link to in the description uh, it's really cool and it's free and you should definitely download it if you have not already but yeah this is from that pack so like I showed you before simple loop so what this is about is um, weird maximus curves that's that's a uh, that's what's going on here uh, it's the name of the game. So I'm gonna, it'll start off kind of simple and it'll get progressively more and more destroyed and glitchy. So if you're not familiar with Maximus, it's a, um, it's a multiband compressor, but the way that it, uh, the interface is set up is quite a bit different than other multiband compressors. You don't just have a uh, threshold and um, ratio and all that other fun stuff. I mean, you do, but it's, it looks a lot different. Um, you have these graphs, low, mid, high, and then master, um, where uh, the y-axis here is uh, volume output, and then the x-axis is um, volume input. Uh, and basically you, you're like remapping volume inputs to outputs. And so uh, you can, you know, get like a nice like squashed sound or like, a, like an expanded sound if you then crank this up, the, the post. But we're not going to do that. What we're going to do is we're going to give it a bunch of really weird shapes and you'll see. So here goes. So we're just going to give it a funky shape here. All right, let's see how this sounds. This is on the master, by the way. All right, so not, not much different. Um, but let's put let's do this now for all the bands. Actually, let's not have that. There we go. Um, I'll show you why I want like all the the very quiet inputs to have a very loud output in a minute when we get to some other effects. Okay, so that's a little glitch here. So um, you want to make sure that you're not having too much stuff end up in this any region that you're not putting a big like curve on or any any modifications on um, besides messing with the the pre uh, gain you can also just add a bunch of curves here it really doesn't matter we're not we're nowhere even close to using this thing as as, as it was intended to be used so um, we have that here I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick a limiter at the end of this just so we don't get anything stupid okay okay um, so one thing we can do to amplify this effect is um, do some volume automation. So if we go back over here and we just get funky. What this is doing is um, it's 
giving an even more varied input into the uh, the Maximus here that then gets modified through all these curves. So it's not quite as static as, um, you know, or like I, not static, but not as repetitive because this is a, a, ryth a rhythmic loop that repeats. Um, yeah. So, um, but I mean, it's still, you can still hear, you can still hear the rhythm, but not quite as much. Um, the thing about this style of glitch sound design technique is that um, it's pretty much every time you use it, at least in my experience, it's gonna come out sounding really like fast and busy. I haven't been able to get this to make like slow, interesting kind of glitches, um, but that's okay because there's a variety of techniques to use. So let's slap another Maximus on it. And we'll just do the same thing real quick. So uh, we have we have two of those going, uh, not bad so far, but it's, it's boring. It's not very exciting. It's not very fun. So let's do something fun. So let's shove a reverb in there before the uh, before these. And the point of the reverb is that like um, we want to have a lot of parts here that are really quiet. And because when you have like quiet parts that have something really loud right before them, they're um, you're going to get a bunch of reverb from the loud part. And then um, because we're slamming these things into these compressors, it's going to push the reverb to the top and push down uh, all the, the sound under the reverb or the, I guess the dry signal. So let's, let's just crank that up a little. We don't want the decay too high because they're also just going to be kind of washing over everything. So like, I don't know, I guess 0.7 seconds is fine. Um, yeah, let's, let's, we want this to be more like full spectral. So then let's give it a bit of width. You know, this is actually sounding better without the second Maximus, so let's leave that off. So see how we get a lot of uh, really kind of like quick snappy transients, but we're also getting that like kind of cool sucking motion from the, from the reverb coming in and out. So that's good. Uh, let's keep doing crap like that. So let's, um, another thing to do is to put a uh, bit crusher or I mean any kind of distortion but I mean for this a bit crusher is going to give us that kind of sound we're probably looking for so um yeah let's do some bit crushing let's automate those around um, by the way with all this automation I'm doing um I mean as you see I'm just kind of haphazardly putting points around you can also do things like um have a bunch of uh interwoven generative uh modifier not modifiers but um function generators, like a bunch of LFOs where the uh, where the rates are all tied to each other or something, or a bunch of like envelopes triggering over and over um, to get like this kind of weird action. You don't have to do it this way. All right, so sometimes these sounds get a little too extreme when we overly bit crush, but let's, uh, let's see. Notice how at the end, after it stops playing, we get those that cool little tail because we have a uh, all the stuff that's like closer and closer bottom to like the noise floor like starts coming out because there's no original sound playing, um, and these this maximus just brings out that tail. It's pretty cool. Um, so we have let's uh, let's keep going though because we can make this cooler. Let's put say like a delay, and let's turn off tempo sync, and we can automate this uh, this time. We can even automate the level too.
All right, so that sounded pretty cool. Let's uh, let's do some other stuff to it. One thing we could do is uh, give it some nice spectral funky stuff. Um, we can, the order that we put this thing in, we can put it somewhere arbitrary and then decide later. Um, I have a preset here, which it's basically um, just two peaks and two notches, and then I automate the position, the frequency position of each of these points. So let's uh, let's do that right now. All right, let's uh, let's see how that sounds here. All right, so that's uh, that's basically it. Um, from here, you just you know you can record this and then uh, you have it as audio, and then you can keep manipulating it however you would like to do so. Um, and yeah, you don't necessarily need to use a um, you know a drum loop. You can use just about anything. Um, you can you know throw in a, a serum and get like a really wacky generative patch going, and then run it through this kind of chain, and then the you'll get a pretty crazy effect. Um, let's, uh, let's just, you know, for the hell of it, let's get rid of this and then put some other loops in here and see how they come out from the, uh, you know, the new sample pack. Let's see. Yeah, it's pretty dope. Let's change, uh... And then let's just switch this to stretch. Oh, it would help if we actually put it in the right. Uh... Let's see what happens if we put a like some kind of melodic thing in there. So if we have. Uh... So I made that one. Pretty cool. Um, okay. Yeah, so all sorts of fun stuff you can do with this. Uh, look forward to seeing what you all do with it. Um, I'm planning on doing more tutorials soon. Uh, this is the first of a list of various topics I want to cover. Um, but yeah, if you have any suggestions for any other types of tutorials you'd like to see uh, that I have not yet covered, please let me know in the comments uh, or send me a message. Thank you and have a good day.